Hello and welcome back to Mac UT. This lecture is about the center of gravity method. So it is a method or a technique or a procedure which helps us finding out uh, the location where the cost of distribution of a product will be minimum. By that I mean that if we are having a certain different markets uh, in our location we, 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 are, we are working we, are, we want to work so we are having different markets let's suppose we are having a market one two three and four we are having four different markets right and we want to select a location where the distribution cost would be minimum so obviously all the markets will be having a different uh, capacity or we will be sending different number of units to different markets based on uh, the, the based on the ability to be sold right so there are two things we are taking in consideration the first one is the number of units being sent to each market and the second one is the coordinates of each market so uh, each market is a different location right and they will be having a certain coordinates if you plot them in uh, x and y axis we will be getting an x coordinate uh, and a y coordinate so we will be having them at different locations and uh, using the number of units and the, the coordinates of that market we will be trying to find out the location where we can place our industry or company or our service so that it can be distributed to each market with the minimum cost right so we'll be taking two things into, into our account the number of products being distributed and the coordinates of each location and finally we will be getting our final location I suppose it is this one which should be termed as the center of gravity and because it will be having um, the minimum cost uh, the minimum cost of product distribution and that's what we call it as the center of gravity and the method is known as the center of gravity method right so let's suppose we are having our first location as uh, Chicago so let's say that Chicago uh, is having market where we are sending uh, or we are, there is a need of uh, 2000 uh, units or products so we are sending or 2000 of units to Chicago right and then uh, there is uh, the second market which is Pittsburgh so let's say the, the demand of Pittsburgh is a 1000 units right so as the, based on the market the, the demand as well as uh, we will be sending different number of units to each market and, and let's say the third location or the third market is New York Right, and uh, its demand is let's say 1000 units. Right, and then the market of the, of the fourth location is uh, Atlanta. So we are sending, I suppose, uh, 2000 of our products to Atlanta. So we are having four different locations, and each market is having a certain number of uh, products demand right and then we are trying to find out the location where we should place our warehouse or storage capacity or uh, or industry uh, at that location so that the, the distribution cost between these markets would be minimal right now the second thing we, have, we, have, we know the first thing uh, which is the number of products being sent to each market the second thing we need to know is the location of each market on the x and y axis right so uh, let's let's plot them on, on x and y axis let's call this one as x axis and this one is y axis so this one is x axis and this one is y axis right so the location of each one uh, would be on x and y axis based on the, 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 the map we can we can just find out the coordinates of each one of them and uh, we can scale them accordingly or according to our, our own requirement right so let's suppose uh, the first location is uh, 30 and 120 that is for Chicago while the second location is 90 and 110 
third location is 130 and 130 I'm thinking this location based on uh, the map and the coordinates uh, that we can have uh, for these three uh, four different markets and you can scale them accordingly it's up to us so it is uh, 1840 okay so now we are having three or uh, four different markets with the coordinates uh, certain coordinates and each market uh, is uh, having a certain demand of the you know, products from our industry right so we need to find out the location or the center of gravity for for our industry to be planted in or for our our warehouse where we can store our products and then distribute them accordingly so that the distribution cost would be minimum right and uh, this location would be having coordinates x and y obviously and the, the purpose of the center of gravity method is to find out these coordinates the x coordinate and y coordinate of our center of gravity which should be the location final location where we need to install our uh, industry or company so that uh, our distribution cost or the cost by which we are transporting from uh, our product to different markets would be minimum Right. So this is all about the center of gravity method. Now let's see how to find out these uh, coordinates, the coordinate, the x and y for our center of gravity or the location of our industrial company. Now the formula for the x coordinate uh, of the center of gravity would be would be the summation of the x n summation of x n where x n would be the x coordinate of uh, each location and uh, multiplied by qn where qn would be the quantity or the, the, the demand of that location divided by the qn or quantity summation of the quantities of each location like in this case we would be having the x coordinate as uh, the x coordinate of location 1 or location 1 which is 30 multiplied by q1 n which will be the the quantity of uh, the location 1 which is 2000 in this case plus again the, the location 2 the x coordinate of location 2 is 90 multiplied by the quantity of location 2 which is 1000 right plus the third location which is uh, the x coordinate is 130 multiplied by the quantity is 1000 plus the final location which is uh, the fourth location and x coordinate is 80 and then multiplied by its quantity which is 2000 right and then divide it by the, the summation of the quantities of these four locations which should be 2000 plus 1000 plus 1000 plus 2000 right and uh, the x coordinate would be the final x coordinate would be once we solve them we would see that the x coordinate would become 66.7 Right? So this will be the x coordinate where uh, our center of gravity would be placed or where we would be beneficial, it would be beneficial to install our uh, industry at that location in order to get the, uh, the minimum cost of distribution. And uh, the same uh, procedure would be same for finding out the y coordinates, let's find out that. Now in order to find out the y coordinate, we, have, we will be having formula the summation of y n which means uh, the y coordinates of uh, each location into quantity n divided by the quantities of the application divided by summation of q1 which is the summation of all the quantities so we are having y n so for the first location we are the, the y component is 120 multiplied by the quantity of that location so which is 2000 plus for the second it is 110 the y component is 110 and the quantity is 1000 plus the third one we are, we are having the y component as 130 multiplied by 
the quantity of the, the third equation which is 1000 and for the fourth one we are having the y component is 40 and the quantity for the Atlanta is 2000 and then divide it by the summation of all the quantities which is 2000 plus 1000 plus 1000 plus 2000 right so summation of all the quantities and finally we will get the y component after solving this we will get the y component to be 93.3 right so that means uh, we would get the x and y component of the center of gravity or the location where the, if we place our warehouse the, the, or the storage or, or our uh, industry if we install all at that location uh, we would be having the minimum cost of distribution and uh, the x component was 66.7 while the y component is 93.3 Right? So these will be the coordinates of our center of gravity and this is the location uh, where we can install our industry in order to minimize the distribution cost and we can install our warehouse or our storage in order to be distributed uh, at the, these four different markets in order to minimize our distribution cost. So this was a simple step-by-step -step procedure. Uh, I hope it is clear. If you still have any issues, please do comment. I will be more than glad to answer. Uh, Wish you best of luck. Goodbye. If you liked my video, please hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I would really appreciate the support. Wishing you the best of luck.